Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video about the TCL Q7 with Google TV. This may also apply to the Hisense uh, TVs that also have Google TV, um, but I have the TCL Q7 and I've been noticing a weird judder issue with the motion and I'll show you a quick example by going to Avengers. I have my Apple TV back there, but I've noticed a lot of judder issues and I didn't know what was going on. So down here, there's a lot of, especially Mantis running. Um, but you'll see it when, especially when Black Panther and Okoye are fighting. There's a lot of, do you see that weird motion blurriness? It's weird, and then it turns off when Drax is stabbing. But especially on Black Panther doing that spin, there's a, so much judder, so much stutter. And I was really confused as to what was going on. So the first thing I did was I went to the home screen, go to my settings, go to picture, go to advanced settings, go down to motion, and by default, the motion clarity is turned on, right? So that's what I thought was causing that weird Black Panther and Okoye thing, like, you know, all the juddering. And I didn't know what was causing that because I know that's not what it looks like on my other TVs. Oops, it turned off by itself. Um, advanced settings, go down to motion, turn off, turn off motion clarity. So I thought that was going to solve my issues, right? Wrong, because... If you go back to the movie, and I'll rewind 20 seconds, it's still there. With Mantis running, there's like, it's, it's like weird. Thor hitting the hammer, it's weird. It's, it still has that judder. You can still, you can see when Ant-Man punches it and Black Panther and Okoye, it's, you still get that judder. So it doesn't fix the judder. Um, so I'm like, okay, what the heck is causing this? And then I went online to Reddit and about if anyone else was having this weird judder issue. And someone on Reddit said, oh, it's because TCL. Um, and I'll do this real quick. So right here, like when you're watching on Disney or whatever platform, if you have Dolby Vision um, as an option and you play the movie, notice it says Dolby Atmos. It'll also say Dolby Vision sometimes, but... <clears throat> for whatever reason, you still get that judder issue. And they said that the reason why you're getting that judder issue is because if you have it on Dolby Vision IQ or Dolby Vision Bright, Dolby Vision IQ and Dolby Vision Bright, for some reason, automatically turn on motion smoothing, which causes the weird judder issues. Um, Sorry, you guys aren't able to see that because it's so bright. So let me turn on the exposure. There you go. So if it's on Dolby Vision Bright or Dolby Vision IQ, it automatically turns on motion smoothing. So what you have to do is hit your settings, go to picture. I'm doing this with one hand, so sorry guys. So right here, make sure when you're on picture mode, whether it's Dolby Vision IQ or Dolby Vision Bright, but I, I like Dolby Vision Bright. If you go down to advanced settings and you go down to motion, it's turned on. So that's why it's causing all those issues. For some reason, Dolby Vision automatically turns that on and it causes all those issues. Um, so now if we go back to the movie and rewind to the Okoye part, which is right here, yeah. Now notice, no more judder. The judder's gone. You see that? The judder is gone. When Ant-Man punches that thing, no more judder. The spin is normal. Now the stabbing's normal. So that's the issue. For some reason, uh, Dolby Vision IQ and Dolby Vision Bright turn on motion smoothing. I don't know why. So again, Go to settings, picture, when in a picture mode, 
Dolby Vision Bright or Dolby Vision IQ. But I'll show you something about Dolby Vision IQ that you don't know about. Um, go to Advanced Settings, go to Motion, make sure that's turned off. For some reason, it causes all that weird juddering effect with Dolby Vision IQ. Um, if you... But if, uh, if you do Dolby Vision IQ, for some reason, when you go to advanced settings, you don't get the motion setting. So if you're on Dolby Vision IQ and you're getting all that weird juddering and you try to fix it, you're not going to be able to see the motion option. So you'll still get the judder. But if you go to Dolby Vision Bright and you go to advanced settings, the motion setting is back. Voila. And um, if you go to Dolby Vision Dark, Dolby Vision Dark automatically fixes these issues because the motion, uh, if you, yeah, wrong setting, advanced settings, motion. I had it turned on earlier, but this is automatically off. I think <laughs> I might be wrong, but make sure that's just turned off and your issues should be fixed. No more judder issues. I hope that helped. Sorry if I was confusing. So, quick recap. Um, on the home screen, if you don't want judder issues, uh, go to picture, advanced settings, motion, turn that off. Then when you are in whatever platform, all right, now it shows up, Dolby Vision. Now when you're in whatever platform, uh, Hit settings, hit picture, and make sure if you're on Dolby Vision Bright or Dolby Vision Dark, um, because Dolby Vision IQ doesn't have the motion setting. So if you're on Dolby Vision Bright or Dolby Vision Dark, it's automatically going to have that uh, motion clarity on. So go to advanced settings, clarity, uh, no, not clarity, motion, turn off motion clarity. And that should show off all of your issues. I was about to return this TV because I couldn't stand it. But I finally fixed it. Sorry again for if that was confusing. But I truly hope that helps. Turn it off on the home screen. Turn it off if you have Dolby Vision Bright, Dolby Vision Dark. You can't change it if you have Dolby Vision IQ on. Dolby Vision is causing the judder issues. So turn it off. All right? Hope that helped.